The extent to which the general cat population suffers from osteoarthritis is unknown. One retrospective study reviewed radiographs of 100 cats over 12 years of age that were presented for reasons unrelated to lameness. Radiographic evidence of degenerative joint disease was found in 90% of the cats. The elbow was most frequently affected with severe lesions found in almost 20% of the joints examined. Four of the cats actually had neurological disease associated with lumbosacral lesions. One limitation of the study was that actually relatively few hip joints were visible in the radiographs that were evaluated, and this may possibly have led to underestimation of degenerative changes in this location. And sadly, only 4% of the cats with OA had clinical signs noted in the medical record. What is the prevalence of radiographic osteoarthritis? And this is done in the United Kingdom. Evaluation of radiographs from a hospital population of 218 cats in the UK found a prevalence of radiographic OA 33%. The prevalence of signs of appendicular joint osteoarthritis was 16%, and of these cats, only six had clinical signs of lameness noted in their medical records. Another retrospective study of almost 300 cats, they took 292 cats, adults, in the UK radiographed for any reason. They found that 22% had evidence of osteoarthritis. And again, the elbow was also the most commonly affected joint in this study. Of the cats with radiographic OA, 33% had clinical signs. In many cases, there was no evidence of osteoarthritis in the patient's medical record. This suggests that correlation between radiographic and clinical OA is poor or that clinical signs of OA go unobserved by owners or unrecorded by veterinarians. In this uh, study, it was a prospective study in cats of all ages. This was performed by Duncan LaSalle, and he found that 91% had radiographic evidence of degenerative joint disease. In this study, the hip was most affected, followed by the stifle, the tarsus, then the elbow. Thoracic spinal area had much more lesions than the lumbosacral area. Now, for each one-year increase in age, degenerative joint disease score increased by almost 15%. This is another study, a prospective study done in 28 cats. Inclusion criteria for this prospective study were presence of historical evidence and or clinical signs of osteoarthritis together with radiographic evidence of OA. Patients showed clinical improvement within four weeks of being given an analgesic and were free from other disease processes. What are the results? 28 cases were included in the cohort. The elbow accounted for 45% and the hip 38%. These were the most frequently affected joints. 71% of the cases had primary arthritis, uh, primary uh, etiologies. What's important here is alterations in both the ability to jump affected 71% of the cats, and actually the height of the jump, almost 70%, were the most frequent signs of disease. And this is going to be important when we come back later and talk about environmental modifications. 